about a month ago, I spotted this lumber just sitting on a curb, ready to be thrown out. And they had been shelved to somebody's garage, but they no longer wanted them. So I just put it on top of my car and drove away with it. So this is wonderful three quarter inch plywood and uh, it's just, you know, construction grade. But I'm gonna turn all this lumber into the base of a digital piano. It'll have some wheels on it so I can easily move it around from one place to another in the school. Here's the case for the electric piano, and it weighs a ton. It has wheels on it, which makes it a little bit easier to move around, but honestly, it takes two people to be able to lift the piano up because it has weighted keys and speakers on it. So I need to build a unit that I can just put this on and be able to roll it around from the stage to the band room to the chorus room or wherever we need it without requiring another person. With the case open, you can see just how big this keyboard is. So I'm gonna start taking some measurements so I can design the stand base. And I think I'm gonna start with the legs. I'm gonna use my existing upright piano here to determine the measurements for the height of my legs. So I'm just simply gonna measure from the floor to the bottom of the keyboard. And that should be the height that I will need in order to have my knees clear underneath the piano. Here is the underside of the piano. So I think my supporting base needs to be the width of this wooden support right there. I took a number of two by threes and I cut them into smaller sections. And now I'm ready to uh, run them through the jointer and the planer to make it more usable and more presentable. I needed the shorter sections because there's a good bit of twist which are in these boards and by having them shorter, I don't have to take off quite as much wood. Before I went ahead and cut these, I had to check very carefully to make sure that there's no screws or nails that are left in these boards. Two sides of each board are now jointed so I can take them over to the planer and make everything parallel and square. With the rough lumber now all trued up, I can cut the boards to their final lengths. Of course, I use the drill press to pre-drill and then I go ahead and countersink so the screws won't be above the surface. With the glue dry, I can now go ahead and clip off the corners of the feet. This will help protect the wood if I should happen to bang into a wall or a door jam. And then I round over all of the edges where I could possibly touch it with my hands or perhaps bang my knees underneath the piano. I have this piece of leftover beadboard that I'm going to put on one side of the leg frames to give it some stability. I'm just going to simply glue it to the wood, but I needed to make sure that my joints were absolutely flush with each other. So I took a few moments with my hand plane and made sure that everything was very smooth. And I also planed down where the two boards meet. I've cut two pieces of the beadboard into perfect squares on my bandsaw, and now I want to cut them in half but on the diagonal. So I have temporarily taped the board to my sled and lined up the point of the board right where the cut line would be. And this will give me some bracing to put underneath the piano stand. By using the tape, this cut was really easy, safe, and accurate. All four sides of both panels are getting this chamfer, and that will prevent the panel from chipping if somebody bumps into it. After placing the piece of beadboard exactly where I want it, I have traced around the frame here, so that, that gives me an area to put the glue, because I don't want to put glue in any space where there is not gonna be the frame. So I really wanna make sure that this adheres tightly 
securely to the frame, but I don't want a whole lot of squeeze out. So I'm just going around the perimeter, and of course there's one down the middle. Okay, that should do pretty well. I was planning on just lying the frame on top of the panel and putting some weight on it, but that didn't seem like that was going to apply enough force. Yeah, so it's going to want to spring up. So as usual, it's time to bring on the clamps. I am making the brace for the legs to hold them nice and steady. And I need to attach this to this leg and have a nice straight line here as well. So I'm gonna have to clamp this in several places to keep everything nice and straight. So I need this portion to be flush. This is gonna be kind of tricky to clamp. Those nice and flush. It takes two long screws to keep this piece of wood aligned and to prevent it from twisting. This bracket is going to sit right on this center post. It can't sit there right now because I don't have that 45 degree angle on it but I'm going to use the triangle that I cut out here. I'm gonna cut off just a little bit where that board is showing through on the table saw. And by cutting a straight line right there, that's gonna continue through on that board as well. So I should have the triangular shape that I need. With this cut perfectly even, this now will sit right on top of the center support and I can add in my triangle and I'm pushing both of these ends right up against this block which I have clamped to the work. And that aligns everything perfectly. I'm now ready for the glue up, which is pretty straightforward. And I've had to make some wedges in order to clamp this bottom portion. I'm not gonna use any mechanical fasteners for this. I'm just simply gonna let the glue do the work. So I think I'll just put the glue on the outside edges here rather than on the other surface. Probably make it easier. I'm not worried about squeeze out on the inside because nobody will ever be able to see that surface again. So I just wanna make sure that it's over the edges here. one down slide that down a little bit fits there beautifully do the same thing on the other side and then I can tighten her up the most important thing is is that this edge does not protrude I need to make sure that it stays a true 90 degrees nice and flush nothing's protruding there so now I should be able to just wedge these in so I've got this long one that's gonna put pressure all the way against the bottom I've got two wedges and another brace right there so I don't make, need to make it super duper tight just hand tight should be good Time to put the wedges on the other side. Same procedure, I have a longer piece of wood here. Two wedges. Excellent. And now I'll just put some clamps along the edge. I put a coat of primer 
on the legs and they turned out very nicely. It's very, very strong, but it's still gonna take a good bit of work sanding it down and filling in some of the imperfections with some more joint compound before adding another coat of primer. These braces here, these right angle braces are very, very sturdy. So there's no chance that this piano is gonna be rocking back and forth. The next step is to go ahead and build the rest of the base to connect everything together. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.